We previously covered five forgotten science fiction supercars, but then that got us thinking. How about cars from the world of horror? The cars of science fiction are technical marvels, an idea that technology can someday produce a car like that. However, the world of horror, the rules are slightly different. Powered by the supernatural instead of a V8, or constructed for murder as opposed to transport, these cars are mostly remembered for their kills per mile. Here are five gruesome cars from the world of horror. returns as the car. In 1977, about the same time everyone was queuing up to see Star Wars, another movie hit the cinema. The car was a demonically possessed Lincoln Continental Mark III, and a heavily modified one at that. It would stalk and kill without mercy, leaving poor old Sheriff James Brolin with the issue of hunting the mysterious car, with the seriously unnerved Ronnie Cox at his side. Could have really done with that ED-209. We never actually saw the driver, only at the end when the car was eventually destroyed did we get a glimpse of the demonic power behind it. There were four cars built by the legendary Hollywood customizer George Barris, three stunt cars whilst the fourth was used for close-ups and is the only survivor of filming. That car now resides in the private collection. Sonny, you ever owned a car before? No. I just got my license. Start her up. Her name's Christine. I like that. Six years after the car came the movie adaptation of Stephen King's Christine, which tells the story of a 1958 Plymouth Fury which develops homicidal tendencies. Directed by John Carpenter, this is perhaps the most famous car in all of horror. However, all was not as it seems. The Plymouth Fury was very rare and extremely expensive when the movie was made, thus Plymouth Belvedere's and Savoy's were used for the majority of filming. Twenty cars were used to represent the bloodthirsty Christine, of which only two survive to this day. Both were kept in private car collections. The cars that ate Paris didn't actually take place in the famous city of Paris, but rather the town of Paris in Australia. Also, these cars were not actually supernatural, unlike the two vehicles we've previously looked at. Instead, the townspeople of Paris have taken to attacking visitors to their town with modified cars, then stealing their belongings from the victims whilst any survivors were intentionally lobotomized and kept as human vegetables, thus indicating two things. One, the townspeople of Paris were indeed psychopaths, and secondly, Paris had no budget for tourism. The most famous of the terror cars was the spiky VW Beetle, which has become sort of a symbol for horror cars, with influences reaching other films. The movie itself was actually terrible, however it is a cult classic. Is there anybody in this place you could vouch for to give me a ride home? Fair lady, your chariot awaits. Is it safe? No, it's better than safe. It's death proof. Death proof featured two killer cars, a 1969 Dodge Charger and a 1970 Chevy Nova, both driven by Mike McKay, otherwise known as Kurt Russell. Both cars were death proof. They were heavily reinforced to protect the driver. Unfortunately for Rose McGowan, passenger safety was not considered a priority. McKay also had a theme for driving at speed at night without headlights into the path of oncoming cars. 
this guy had no consideration for no claims bonuses. The beauty of these cars is their raw muscle car appeal and the brutal nature of their modifications. The film itself was poor, but the driving scenes are incredible as can be seen by this link. Cars in cinema typically have some surprises, but this one has to be a lead contender for most unexpected performance. Jeepers Creepers is best remembered for the Creeper, a brutal and practically unstoppable flying creature which awakes every 23 years to replace its own body parts with those of specially selected high school students. However, it is also remembered for the 1941 Chevy COE, which was significantly modified by the Creeper into a brutal road rocket which he used to travel around during the day. It also provided a valuable insight into the Creeper. Firstly, he was an immense mechanic, and secondly, as the link shows, He's a terrible road hog. Thank you ever so much for watching. Please show your support by hitting the like and share buttons and please do comment below. Tell us your favourite car from the world of horror. If you fancy watching our previous video, Five Forgotten Cars of Science Fiction, or fancy something a little more darker from our Insane But True series, then please click the on-screen links. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss our future presentations and until next time, this is Andy and thanks for watching.